What you don't know about urgent care versus emergency room visits can cost you. How you can save on health expenses with supplement and advantage plans. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the bell icon for more valuable health tips and information. We are aware that 90% of viewers don't subscribe, please do. Today, we're tackling a question that many seniors have about Medicare. What's the difference in cost between an urgent care visit and an emergency room visit? Plus, we'll discuss how Medicare supplement and Advantage plans can help with deductibles and copays. If you've ever faced a sudden health issue, you might have wondered whether to go to an urgent care center or the emergency room. Both can provide necessary medical care, but the costs can be very different, especially when it comes to Medicare. Let's break it down. Urgent care versus emergency room. First, let's define the two. Urgent care centers are designed to handle non-life-threatening situations that require prompt attention, like minor injuries, infections, or small fractures. On the other hand, emergency rooms are equipped to handle severe and life-threatening conditions, such as chest pain, severe bleeding, or stroke. Now, let's talk about costs. Middle. Typically, Medicare Part B covers 80% of the approved cost for urgent care visits after you meet your Part B deductible. Middle. You are responsible for the remaining 20% and any additional copayments. Middle. For 2024, the Medicare Part B deductible is $233. Emergency room costs. 1. Emergency room visits usually involve higher costs due to the comprehensive services provided. 2. Medicare Part B also covers 80% of the approved cost after the deductible. 3. However, ER visits often have higher copayments and additional charges for services and supplies. Cost Comparison Example Let's look at an example. Suppose you visit urgent care for a minor injury. The total cost is $200. After the deductible, Medicare pays 80%, which is $160. You pay $40. Now, if you visit the ER for the same issue, the total cost might be $1,000. Medicare pays $800, and you pay $200, plus any extra charges. As you can see, the difference in out-of-pocket costs can be significant. Urgent care centers are often more affordable for non-life-threatening issues. When to choose urgent care versus ER. So, when should you choose urgent care over the ER? Here's a quick checklist. 1. Choose urgent care for minor injuries, infections, and non-severe illnesses. 2. Opt for the ER if you're experiencing severe symptoms like chest pain, difficulty breathing, or major injuries. How Medicare Supplement and Advantage Plans Help Now, let's talk about how having either a Medicare Supplement or an Advantage Plan can help with these costs. Medicare Supplement Plans, Medigap 1. These plans are designed to fill the gaps in original Medicare coverage, including co-payments, co-insurance, and deductibles. 2. With a Medigap plan, you can reduce or even eliminate out-of-pocket expenses for urgent care and emergency room visits. 3. There are different types of Medigap plans, each offering varying levels of coverage. 3. It's essential to choose one that fits your healthcare needs and budget. Medicare Advantage Plans, Part C. 1. These plans are an alternative to original Medicare and often include additional benefits, such as vision, dental, and hearing coverage. 2. Many Medicare Advantage plans have lower out-of-pocket costs for urgent care and emergency room visits compared to original Medicare. 3. They often have an out-of-pocket maximum, which can provide financial protection if you have frequent or high-cost medical needs. 4. However, it's important to understand the network restrictions and plan specifics, as they can vary significantly. To choose the right plan, consider the following. 1. Your typical healthcare needs and how often you visit doctors or require urgent care. 2. The out-of-pocket costs you can afford. 3. Whether you prefer the flexibility of seeing any doctor who accepts Medicare or are comfortable with a network of providers. Remember, understanding your Medicare options and how different plans can help with costs is crucial for making the best decisions for your health and finances. Both Medicare Supplement and Advantage plans offer valuable benefits that can ease the burden of deductibles and copays. This video was created by Bill Vargas, an independent Medicare agent, which means he works for you, not the insurance companies. Go to MedicareSelfEnroll.com, enter your zip code to find the right Medicare plan for you in your area and then easily self-enroll. Your trusted partner in Medicare enrollments. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tips on navigating Medicare and staying healthy.